Hi there, welcome back with me in English 8. Today I'm going to be here with you in Unit 9, Natural Disasters, getting started. So, Natural Disasters. How many types of Natural Disasters do you know? Okay, so in this unit I'll help you to know a lot more about Natural Disasters. Now, getting started, let's take a look at what we have today. First, this unit includes one. Listen and repeat. One, I read the conversation again and fill in blank with no more than three words. One, B responding to news. Two, I write the responses into the correct column. Two, B march. Three, mark natural disaster with pictures. And four, pair work, asking and answering. So, get let's start it with this unit includes. So, in unit 9, we learn this thing. On vocabulary, types of natural disasters. Words to describe the natural disaster. On pronunciation, we have stress in words ending in logic and graphy. On grammar, we have passive voice review, past perfect. On communication, we'll talk about a natural disaster, asking and answering questions about what to do when a natural disaster happens. So a lot of things that we do in Unit 9. And in today's video, I'll help you with getting started. Here is activity one. Listen and read. Shocking news. Look at the pictures here. Jung and Nick are talking with each other about natural disaster. Now you look at your book and you listen first. Did you watch the news last night? No, I didn't. What's happened? There was a typhoon in Nam Dinh province. What exactly is a typhoon? We don't get them in England. It's a severe tropical storm. Oh no, that's terrible. What time did it hit the area? They said at about 10 a.m. Was anyone injured? Only a few minor injuries were reported. Most people have moved to safe areas when the storm broke. That's a relief. Did it cause any damage to property? It seems many houses and public buildings were destroyed or flooded and thousands of people were left homeless. That's awful! Despite all the modern technology available to us, we're still helpless against natural disasters. How is the government helping the people there? They've sent rescue workers to free people who were trapped in flooded homes. Once the heavy rain stops, they'll start clearing up the debris. Medical supplies, food and rescue equipment have also been sent. That's great! How about the people left without homes? They've been taken to a safe place where temporary accommodation will be provided for them. Now, you look at the test and I'll help you to explore the vocabulary. A typhoon. Typhoon is a strong storm. Severe, tropical storm. Yes, severe, serious storm. Violent, severe, tropical storm, typhoon. Hit, hit the area. A storm hit the area. A storm hit Hanoi. A storm hit Ho Chi Minh City. The storm hit Quang Bin. Injured. Injured, get injured. Minor, minor, not very important. Minor injuries. Damage, cause any damage. Cause damage to property. Property, things belong to people. Cause damage to property. Good. Cut damage to houses. Cut damage to crop. 
cause damage to trees, cause damage to anything. Okay, so cause damage to property. Flooded, flooded, a lot of rain, a lot of water, water everywhere, flood. Modern technology, modern technology, government, government, right. Rescue, rescue, yes, release people from somewhere, rescue worker, okay. Trapped in somewhere, trapped, trapped. Yes, trapped in flood homes, cannot go away, cannot release from the flooded home, trapped, flooded home, okay. Debris, debris, debris with broken thing, broken thing after an accident or after a natural disaster, broken thing, debris. Medical supplies, medical supplies, rescue equipment, rescue equipment, okay. Temporary, temporary, in short time, yes, temporary. Temporary accommodation, yes, a place to live in a short time. Yeah. Now we move to one I read the conversation again and fill the blank with no more than three words. Here are six sentences. You read the past so you read the conversation and you fill in the sentences here with no more than three words for each blank. Okay, I'll help you. One. Nam Dinh province was hit by a severe typhoon or tropical storm or typhoon. 2. Only a few people were injured. Okay. The storm caused extensive to property. Extensive, strong, serious extensive to property damage to property okay so damage here four rescue workers have free those who were flooded home trapped trapped in flooded home okay number five the government has sent rescue equipment foot and okay so rescue equipment Food and what? Yes, medical supplies. Okay, number six. People without home will be provided with. So people, homeless people will be provide temporary accommodation. Provide a place to live in a short time. Okay? Good. Now we move to Activity 1B Responding to news So let's take a look at the conversation again and find out the similar response to that's terrible uh, when, you, when you hear the bad news you say that's terrible What's more? Yet, or oh, no, or that's awful. So there are, or oh, no, there are, that's terrible. That terrible is already here, and what's more? Yes, that's. Awful. That's awful. Okay. Now we move to 2i. Write the responses into the correct column. Then listen, check, and repeat. 
here is activity 2i so the column good news and the column bad news how to respond to good news and how to respond to bad news and here are the responses given now I'll help you wow good news that's great good news oh dear bad news that's a relief good news that's a relief okay that's awful of course bad news how terrible bad news how wonderful oh no that's shocking of course and that's awesome yes now you listen and check responding to good news wow that's great that's a relief how wonderful that's awesome good responding to bad news oh dear that's awful how terrible oh no that's shocking good so in here you remember that's a relief what does it mean yes that's the relief that means you have just finished a difficulties you have been over them over a difficulty or that kind of you are released from a burden that's a relief <sighs> okay that's awesome yes that's awesome means that's beautiful that's great that's awesome okay we move to activity to be Mark the sentences 1 to sit to the responses A to F, then practice the exchanges with a partner. Here are 6 given sentences and 6 given responses. You read the sentence aloud and then you choose the correct response. Okay, I'll help you. 1. Mary and Tom are getting married in July. Oh, how wonderful! I managed to pass the test. That's a relief. Many people died in the accident. That's awful. They have invented a flying car. Wow! Our house was destroyed by storm. Oh no! Hospitals have refused to take any one more injured people. <gasps> Refuse to take in any more injured people. That's shocking. Okay. Good. Activity three: Mask the natural disasters with the pictures. Then listen, check your answers, and repeat. Can you add more? Here is activity number three. Sit given natural data and sit given picture. You look at the picture and you match with the words. Okay, I'll help you. Look at number one. What's number one here? A lot of water. Yes, is flat. Number two, fire. Okay, forest fire. Number three, a big wave from the sea. Was yet yeah, tsunami. Number four, a tunnel shape, right? A tunnel shape is tornado. Yes, t 
tornado. Oh, a lot of mud here, full of mud. It must slide. Yeah, number six here. What? Of course, is volcanic eruption. Volcanic eruption. Number seven. No rain for a long time. What's this? Yet yeah, of course it drought. Drought. And number eight. Look at the building. Yeah, they are collapsed. So it's earthquake. Right? Now you listen and check. One. C. Flood. Two. D. Forest fire. Three. F. Tsunami. Four. B. Tornado. Five. G. Mudslide. Six. A. Volcanic eruption. Seven. H. Drought. Eight. E. Earthquake. All are correct. Good. So here are eight types of natural disasters. Do you know any more types of natural disasters? Okay, so at home, you find out some more, alright? Activity 4. Working pairs. Ask and answer questions about common natural disasters in some areas in Vietnam. Here is an example. Which are, which are the most common natural disasters in Thanh Hoa? Typhoons and floods. How often do they happen there? Typhoons happen there about three or four times a year and floods about twice a year. Okay, very simple conversation. Two questions. Which are common natural disaster in somewhere? Right? In, in Hanoi, in Ho Chi Minh City, in Quang Binh, in Da Nang. Right? And how often do they happen? How often? How often? Once a year, twice a year, one every four year, one every five year. So you practice asking and answering with your partner. You make the similar dialogues. Can you? Very good. Getting started. Unit 9 Natural Disasters is finished here. Thank you for watching. Bye bye and see you in Club 01.